It's the NFL's greatest season ever on home video. We've taken the best of the best to bring you NFL football that'll grab your gut and cling to your memory. It's like the greatest to the third power. Three volumes of NFL's greatest ever videos packed in one full strength gift set. The plays, the players, and the game. This collection hosted by Steve Zabel offers the greatest catches, throws, tackles, players, performances, and much more. How much greatness can you handle? Team, nice concept in life and on the field. The ones you stick by. Here are all the moments you most want to remember from the 94 season. 28 NFL teams, 28 NFL team videos, plus two expansion teams. We're all a little nosy. Football's a vocal game, and we don't mean play-by-play -play commentary. And just what is it that the players are shouting at each other? Hey, baby! We're gonna be here all day, baby! Intimidation can be more than physical. Words push their weight around, on and off the field. We've grabbed the choicest sound bites so you can experience football as you've never heard it before. In NFL Turf Talk, the 100 greatest sound bites of the NFL. This isn't college. You're not at a home college. I, I, I understand. This is NFL, which stands for not for long when you make them calls. Yeah. I'll be selling Go. groceries. 70. This is 50 minutes of impact. The pure muscle of the game. Schwarzenegger saving the universe. Hey, you tackle problems every day. It feels good to watch someone else do the impossible for a change. It's NFL's 100 greatest tackles. This is going to be the high point of the season. Nothing comes near it, and you'll want to see it again. Superheroes, superpower. Coming in February on video, Super Bowl 30. You know when good just doesn't come near it, and great is only halfway there. We're talking the greatest. Be sure to own the greatest season ever on home video from Polygram Video and NFL Films. The dawn of a new era revived the dreams of the Arizona Cardinals. First year head coach and general manager Buddy Ryan boldly predicted a winning season. At the end of 1994, the Cardinals were one victory away from making Ryan good on his word. All I want for Christmas is the playoffs. Playoff spot, playoff spot. It's on the line here today. It's on the line. It's on the line today. In the regular season finale, the Cardinals stood one yard away from Ryan's promise of a winning record. Hey, tell them, hey, Joe, to fire off now. Let's go now. Let's go, Jay. Here we go. Come on, baby, stick it in now! A winning season is just one yard away. Schrader gives the ball to Moore. He doesn't make it. He does not make it. Unbelievable. On the final play of the final game, Arizona fell agonizingly short. Still, one loss could not diminish all the Cardinals accomplished in 1994. They took tremendous strides won five of their last seven games, and fielded the NFL's third-ranked defense. Arizona never quit and barely missed the playoffs. Over the second half of the season, the Cardinal defense was the toughest unit in the NFL to score against. 1994 marked the birth of a new era. Arizona welcomed the buddy system. The Cardinals first became acquainted with the buddy system at Camp Ryan. At the end of the year, everybody wants to be in the playoffs. But what the hell did you do at the beginning of the year to get yourself there? Everybody has a will to win, don't they, on Sunday when the band's playing, the crowd's there. But who has a will to prepare to win? Here we go! Oh, stay up! Stay up! 
Stay with him! Stay with him! Stay with him! Yes! Yes! What Safety? Is Safety? Is, is that the number one concern? No. Collisions are the number one concern. We ain't having enough of them. The week were weeded out. And by season's end, eight former pupils were added to the roster. Ryan's students recognized there was a method to this madness. It's a winning attitude constantly. It's something I've never been around. I mean, he doesn't have to say anything. And we're still thinking we're going to win. And we're preparing to do that. Preparation included a crash course in Buddy 101, detailing the psychological philosophies of the Cardinals. When they say Buddy Ball, what are they talking about? They're talking about Buddy's 46 defense and knocking the hell out of people. Your job is to seek and destroy. You seek out the ball carriers, and all 11 of you want to hit it. And it's six inches away right there, but if you close your eyes, do you blink, or do you hit it? You must handle the fear. Don't allow that fear to stop you from thinking about it, and that's what you have to do. You unleash fury up against someone else. You might lose. Guys might get good licks on you, but you don't sit down or lay around or accept punishment from other people. A man does not take a flipping from anyone. A man does not take a flipping from anyone. You can lose the game and win the fight. How do you win that fight? Knock tears in his eyes. Knock snot out of his nose. That's what you do. There are no rules against how hard you hit him. You can hit him as hard as you have the God-given ability to hit. The people who made the rules intended for you to hit him hard. Listed on the game day roster were several valedictorians of Ryan Doctrine. However, Arizona's first victory was achieved with a quarterback who was absent from Buddy Summer School. Jay Schrader was signed after the start of the season and added some arm to the Cardinals' aerial attack. Arizona took an early lead. Schrader on second and goal. Fakes, looks, throws, it is caught, touchdown, Derek Ware! The largest crowd to watch a Cardinal home victory saw Arizona smother Minnesota's running game, holding the Vikings to only 18 yards. The defense also created four turnovers. Moon rolling to the right side, he's looking and looking, now throwing it is. Leading 10 to 7 in the fourth quarter, the Cardinals put the game away. First and goal at the Minnesota six yard line. They give it centers, bouncing to the outside, inside, so touchdown! How many more moves could he have put on? The Cardinals' first victory belonged to the 68,000 in attendance. Following Arizona's 0 3 start, a win was long overdue. In 1994, the Cardinals sold out Sun Devil Stadium three times and set a franchise single season home attendance record. In just one year, Arizona substantially increased its season ticket base. What's the lore of Buddy Ryan? Why is he so often cheered and jeered? There are many faces to the Buddy Ryan that appears in public. Most are merely facades, guises created by the media. The most surprising thing about Buddy is really how easy he is to get along with. I read all the stories that everyone else did, but he's really very, very easy to get along with. You know, he's all football, he's all business, and that's fine with me. Hey, who we play today? Oh, we play Buddy Ball today. <laughs> buddy Ball! Buddy Ball! They're losers! They're absolute losers! They've got to have a quarterback! No one knew who was going to quarterback the Cardinals at the beginning of the season, as Arizona searched for an identity. 
the losses mounted. An unexpected one and four start tested the team's mettle. When the Cardinals traveled to Washington, Buddy Bashers were in full force. We gotta stop that Buddy Ball. Let's stop Buddy Ball! We wanna stop Buddy Ball today! Stop Buddy Ball! Set Buddy Ball back to Arizona! Going home with a win. We got a four hour flight. There will be another smile. 47 smiles on the plane, all right? Go kick some ass today. That was all about. Turn this thing around. Ronald Moore's 10 yard score was the Cardinals' longest touchdown run of the season and put Arizona on the right track. The best way to protect him as a young quarterback is to throw the ball deep. Right. And they got to protect him. Right. Hey, and, and they're going to get a read when they can go deep now. When the Redskins tried to go deep, Arizona was waiting. Aeneas and James Williams each picked off two passes. With just 27 seconds remaining, the Cardinals had a chance to tie the score. There's a snap, Berline drops and sets and looks and throws, it is. Caught! Is it? Intercepted! Intercepted in the end zone. A lot of confusion down there on the field. We're going to have to wait and see. It looks like the football was going to Ricky Paul. He has the ball! Touchdown! Oh, no. It's down. It's touchdown. All we got to do is get the ball back. In overtime, the, way. the Cardinals intercepted their fifth pass of the game. Todd Peterson, filling in for the injured Greg Davis, booted the game winner. The game-winning kick provided Peterson with his 15 minutes of fame. I was proud of all of you, both sides of the ball. Special teams went down, made the play when you had to make one. I think we learned a lot. I think we found out that we can win under any kind of odds, that we just got to keep going at it. Oh, yeah, man. And uh, we can tell those fans here that they started singing just a little <laughs> <nerd. laughs> While their record didn't indicate it yet, the Cardinals' discipline and dedication was beginning to pay dividends. To be successful in the NFL, you have to win the close ones. And for the second time in three weeks, Arizona played in a game right down to the wire. Wearing their 1921 throwback uniforms, the Cardinal defense held the opposition to below 100 yards rushing for the seventh time in eight outings. Four sacks and three turnovers kept the contest close, and Arizona's ball control offense provided just enough points. Larry centers along with Moore, split behind Burline on second and goal. Burline drops, pump, gives inside the centers, centers drives, touchdown! That's the first time in the last two games that the Pittsburgh Steelers have given up a touchdown. On the overtime kickoff, the Cardinals' special teams made the hit of the game. Davis moves into the football and hits it high. Over to the right, Johnson at the eight-yard line. He's across the 15, 20, 25, and ball for ball! The Cardinals recover! The Cardinals recover! A big hit! Four plays later, the Cardinals called on their money man to save the day. My goodness, how many times have they called on him? Can he do it? A 51-yard field goal attempt by Greg Davis. The kick is up. It's high. It's long. It is good! Arizona won its second overtime game of the year to improve to three and five. Here we go, baby, in New York Stadium, baby. This is our stadium. We bought the show. We whooped their ass the last time. We about to do it this time on the scoreboard. For 10 straight years, the Cardinals lost at Giant Stadium. But Arizona would be run over no more. Ah! 
The Giants were held to only 56 yards in the second half. And with less than two minutes remaining, the Cardinals had a chance to win. Now this is third and goal. What are they going to do? The Giants like to bring linebackers from the outside on the blitz. Trailing by six, Arizona needed a touchdown. He drops back, sets up, looking, looking, looking. And now he's going to run. This could put the Cardinals on top. He's running down the right side. Now throws the ball in the end zone. Caught. Is it? This team is going to drive you nuts. You know, we got a, we got a bunch of guys. And they're going to keep coming no matter what. We've been through a lot the last couple of years, so we're going to keep keep coming back. And hopefully, one of these days, we'll get it right. Make it look a little easier than that. Trying to make victory appear easy was the tough task of Arizona's coaching staff. Many times, telling its players exactly what to expect. What's the screen? There it is. Go, go, go. Pumps and now throws a screen for the near side. It goes up. up. Tremendous play by Seth Joyner. Yeah! Back at the 35 yard line. What a play by Joyner, who was watching for the screen and sifted through to make the play, and he loses about five yards on it. Arizona used a muffling defense to neutralize the Eagles. Rolls to the right side. He is hit. Big play by Seth Joyner. Cunningham fakes, drops, sets, looks, being chased. Hard down he goes. Back at the 26 yard line, Clyde Simmons. Seth Joyner and Clyde Simmons led a defense that held Philadelphia to just 21 yards in the first half. With neither team scoring a touchdown, the Cardinals called upon the reliable right leg of their leading scorer. Davis set a team record with 13 consecutive field goals. His four against Philadelphia gave Arizona a six-point fourth-quarter lead. With the Eagles needing a touchdown to win the game, the Cardinal defense kept the heat on. Philadelphia was stopped on third down 11 out of 14 times. But most importantly, Arizona kept the Eagles out of the end zone. Cunningham drops back, races up, throws upfield, and it is... For the first time in 28 years, the Cardinals won without benefit of a touchdown. For the second week in a row, they squeaked out a close, hard-fought victory. Arizona never stopped believing in the buddy system. If you have, if you have the heart and determination, you can conquer anything. The faith, as small as a mustard seed, you can move mountains. You saw it today. All 22 guys had a heart. They had heart. They didn't give up. They fought all the way. You see what happened. Buddy Ryan was given a hero's welcome in Houston, where he served as defensive coordinator in 1993. A banner bearing his face paid tribute to all Ryan accomplished in one short season. And when Oiler defensive back Chris Dishman returned an interception for a touchdown, he made a beeline for the banner to acknowledge the impact Ryan made on his career. That's the loyalty former players feel for Buddy. Unfortunately for the Oilers, Ryan's current players are more devoted. And in a classic show of one-upsmanship, Arizona's defenders responded with the most impressive effort of the year. Four quarterback sacks and six turnovers, including five interceptions, shut out Houston in the second half. He drops back into the end zone. Here comes Swan. He is a sack. A sack for a safety. Swan gets a safety. Ryan showed his former protégés who was boss. The Cardinals hadn't scored a touchdown in nine quarters, but they made up for the drought by producing a season-high 30 points. Here comes Frasher. Schrader steps up and throws. It is caught. Catch by Gary Clark. Here they come all out. He gives it inside. Center's touchdown. Larry Center. 
When things are working, they're working, Bill. This offense is just demoralized in the defense right now. After 13 games, Arizona was only one win away from evening its one-loss record. Hey, no if, ass, bust your body. We know what we got to do. Hard week of work. Hey, let's not go home empty, baby. Let's kick that ass. Let's, let's go, go baby. Bro. Cardinals, one, two, three, Cardinals. The Cardinals' longest scoring strike of the year came against Washington. Big send up, look, throws deep down. Ricky Prohl, he ran right by the defender. Ricky almost went out of bounds, but had the presence of mind to keep his feet in and dive for the end zone. That's what we've been expecting from Ricky Prohl. Great play, and they're back on the scoreboard, and that really hurts the Washington Redskins. All season, opposing quarterbacks tested Arizona's secondary with deep throws. Aeneas Williams met the challenge and picked off his NFL best ninth pass of the year. Still, the Cardinals trailed with only a minute remaining. Fourth and one at the 35. And Buddy Ryan has said, I'm putting it on my guys. We got to get this first down. Redskins look like they're coming in the blitz. Schrader throws. It is caught for first down. Garrison Hurst still running. He's up at 10. He's all the way to this five yard line. First and goal. I think Dave Atkins and Ted Plum must have tied Buddy up and blindfolded him and put tape across his mouth so he could not see that they threw the ball in fourth down or otherwise Buddy would have had a heart attack. The last team to have the football is going to win this game and let's hope it's the Cardinals right now. To win the ball game. Snap back, ball down, kick up high long. It is Not since 1984 had a Cardinal team been over the 500 mark in the month of December. In week 16, Arizona's defense held the Bengals to only 33 yards in the first half. Cincinnati became one of 12 Cardinal opponents to score less than 20 points the team's best scoring defense since 1935, thanks in part to punter Jeff Fiegels, who made sure the opposition started with poor field position. In the Cardinals' most one-sided victory of the season, they scored on their first three possessions. First and 10 from the Cincinnati 16-yard line. Schrader wants to throw. Six looks throws. And Every break went Arizona's way. They pitch it right to Hurst. Hurst might throw it. Looking for it. Looking for it. The Cardinals won their third game in a row to raise their record to eight and seven. The force behind Arizona's late season rally was Ryan's famed 46 defense, a unit that led the NFL in fewest first downs allowed. But Cardinal defenders concentrate on more than just stopping the opposition. Get that ball out of there next time. Get that ball out of there. It's a touchdown. Stripping ball carriers has become an art form in Arizona and is a key to the success of Ryan's aggressive attacking defense. Cardinals 36 takeaways led the NFC and no team intercepted more passes than Arizona did in 1994. Here they come. He is intercepted by McCants at the 35, 30. He's at the 20, 15, 10, 4, touchdown, Keith McCants. Converting the turnover into a touchdown is what Buddy Ball does so well. The Cardinals had a lot to be thankful for in 1994. They gained the support of their community and improved as a team each week. In 1995, if one yard means the difference between winning and losing, the Cardinals will get that yard. A winning season just one yard away. Not here, not here. Not here. Turns, give 
gives the ball to Moore. No, it's a play action fake. Trainer rolling to the right. He's looking, he's looking, he throws. In 1994, the Cardinals finished with an 8-8 eight eight record, but five losses were by a touchdown or less. Yes, there's a winner in town. Super Bowl 30 will be played at Sun Devil Stadium. And if the Cardinals dare dream the impossible dream, perhaps they can be the first team to play at home in a Super Bowl. Tomorrow looks promising, for in Arizona, there's a new order, the buddy system. Set, go. Y'all ready? Set, go! If you're going to win in the National Football League, you got to be in great condition. We're going to be sure you're there. You're uh, going to show what kind of conditioning you're in, what kind of price you paid. I told you two uh, months ago to come back in the best shape you've ever been in your life. And that's what it takes. You'll win at least two games a year, men on conditioning. And we're going to be that kind of team that's going to win those two games. And that's what we're going to work on. He's going to have to pay the price to win.